just got home from a little fasted cardio run with um, with Alex Jankovic, Alexander. He's playing with the Treffers, which is just a club down the road here. Uh, so for a little less recovery run with him, you know, because I'm feeling my legs a little bit from the gym. But yeah, it was good just to loosen up the body, loosen up the muscles. And now I'm just going to prepare a bit of um, muesli with some fruit. So I got some just muesli here and just some mixed fruit. So that's what I'm going to prepare with a bit of uh, yogurt for breakfast. Then I got like a field trainer later on, so that's what I'm going to go get ready for. So yeah, just got a bit of yogurt here. And then maybe mix in some a little bit of almond milk. What bit? Oats. A few too many. There's something about something good. Just go in here. We just went for a little run today because, you know, we were at I was at the gym with the NEC players on uh, Saturday, and you know I haven't been to the gym in a long time, so just uh, yeah, I'm feeling my muscles a little bit today. Uh, it's important you you listen to your body and and you know and do the right things to recover as fast as possible, so then you can get get training again so that's that's what I've done I've got a field training tonight so you know I'll take it a little bit easy just so that my muscles are feeling good and you know tomorrow I have quite a good session again I think it's gonna be good some almond milk because I don't don't like my muesli being dry so I kind of add a few things in there and make it taste good so I'm going to put a bit of uh, agave syrup in there just to sweeten it up a little bit as well with the fruit. It's going to be good. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, I'm going to get this in and then I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So voila. It's a finished product. I'm gonna watch some Matt Sheldon becoming elite, and um, and yeah, that's it really. For the rest of the day, I don't have much planned. Um, Isis has got horse riding today. Then we're gonna go to her brother's for dinner tonight after training. No, before training actually. He just moved to Germany, so I'm just gonna pop over the border there and. And then yeah, go check out his new place. So it should be exciting. Check in with you guys later. Ciao. in a little bit uh, I had training last night with Achilles uh, I was in the middle so of both teams we just played three times 20 minutes so it was perfect for my recovery and we had a nice dinner in Germany yesterday as well so that was good um, at Isis's brother's house so that was perfect really we um, had a few vegetables and and I had a few like cheese patty things so it was okay before you know and now it's uh, snowing, actually, which is crazy. So I'm about to go and drive in this weather to go pick up Isis from her work. Um, so it is what it is. We'll see what happens. And, uh, and yeah. So now we're on the way to go pick up Isis from work. And the weather's crazy. It's snowing. Snowing like crazy. Hold on, I 
take you up here. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is after one day, like just a full day, a few hours. And now the weather is like this. So I think that's the I think that's the field training over for today. You know, we'll see. I have to message the trainer and then uh, we'll be in touch from there. So we'll go do dinner at Nell's tonight, I think, if training's cancelled, which I don't imagine that it'll be on now because obviously because of the weather and the fields will be frozen. But pretty much this morning I took a free free day off training because you know my muscles have been sore from the gym on Saturday so I had a pretty good free morning taking it easy then I actually took uh, the scooter I took the scooter earlier today into the city Nijmegen because it obviously wasn't snowing and then this so I left the scooter there in the city, I took a coffee with uh, David. Um, then I left the scooter there, and then uh, Mike's girlfriend Nadi, she she took me back to Cruzbeek. So we pretty much dropped David off at his house, went around, picked Michael up from his training at NEC Nijmegen, came around, and then came to Cruzbeek to drop me off. I uh, took a, we then took a, another coffee at a cafe in um, Cruise Bake and uh, what's it called? Eigenweiss, Eigenweiss, yeah, so I took a latte, a soy latte there and now I'm on the way back to Nijmegen to pick up Isis. Such a stupid idea to take the uh, scooter today because yeah, it said it was going to snow, but I didn't realize how bad the snow was going to be. This is crazy. But maybe I'm going to look to go into the gym at least tomorrow. Because I have a... We were supposed to have a technique training tomorrow, but that's obviously going to be cancelled now too. Now the fields just turn into a disaster in Holland when it starts to get cold and snowing. But we'll see what happens. But touch wood, I can at least get into the gym tomorrow. But do you know what's crazy, right? In Holland, any weather, it can be snowing, anything. People are still riding the bike. Look at this. Look at this guy. Snowing, raining, it doesn't matter. The Dutch people are on the bike. Doesn't matter if they have 70 years, you know? Kids, grandma, grandpa, all riding the bike. That's the tradition here, I guess. But, you know, it's crazy. But you have to love the um, personality, though. It takes some heart, some spirit that looks from cold out there. My God. You have to give some distance on the braking. You don't want to crash into someone. Talking about crashing, actually, that reminds me. When we're on the way back from uh, from Nijmegen today, Nadi was driving me and David back to David's house. And we were turning a corner and then a guy, he doesn't drive well to the conditions and he crashed into the back of us. So... We got a little bit of a bump, a little bit of a scare, but it wasn't that bad, so that's okay. But we were involved in a car crash today, essentially. Because everyone here is still driving, I think, with summer tires as well. So, 
the traction is not good. Because ideally I'd really like to do a football training tomorrow, but I don't know if any of the fields anywhere are going to be clean from snow. So the football field's coming up on our left now. And they are covered. As a football update as well, I uh, got a message from Philippe and Pavel today. Philippe is still working hard with Spartak Trenova uh, to try and push for something there. They're in negotiations with the player there to try and get him away. And that could be an opportunity to go there, which would be amazing. It's a huge club in Slovakia and um, they play in the Europa League. So that's amazing, an, an amazing opportunity if I can get somewhere like that to show my skills and try push to get in the team there. And besides that, Pavel today said that he's speaking with a club in the second division in Austria. Which is also interesting. It's a beautiful country, Austria, so I could be interested in going there if the the um, conditions are right with the club. So we're just hanging on and waiting to hear back from these two things from these guys. I got an official trial letter to Armenia to a club which, yeah, I won't name because just out of respect, really, they they've invited me for a trial but I've heard some really bad things about the club actually with salaries and uh, not paying and, and lying and people in the club so I'm not feeling so confident like not confident comfortable with this club because obviously for the level I think I would fit in fine but um, yeah I've just really heard some bad things through a friend of mine who I yeah I really respect his opinion you know he's a big friend of mine and like he always wants the best for me as well it's important you know in football you have connections and then you can get good information about different places and it's just sounded a little bit negative and it's quite risky you know going to a place that you don't know your contract and your salary is not guaranteed the contracts guaranteed and they'll play you but they might not pay you for two months. You know, you're like in a funny posi position as a football player because you have no power and the club has all the power. So it's a funny one. So that's come out today. I've got the official letter and I'm probably not going to go. That's my first thing, my first feeling. And I always judge football about feeling, you know, that's when I'm having a good feeling on something then you jump at it right away but if the feelings not there in your heart you know you have this feeling in your body and you know what's what you want to do and what's um, going to work you know it's it's through your body you kind of have this feeling and that's what I had about coming to Holland straight away which I jumped on straight away it's what I had with going to Slovakia which I jumped on straight away in both places I did well so I'm going to trust my instincts, which I always have done since I got a little bit mature in the game and football. And that's all been good so far, before just taking the first thing that comes up, for example. You really have to, in football, know honestly which level you're at so you cannot uh, obviously go to a level that's too high for you because you're only going to give yourself a bad name and you don't want to go to a level that's too low for you because you end up getting stuck in these levels so it's important to getting the right uh, level where you're going to play but it's not also that easy so that you are always improving because I've been in positions where I've been in a team that's been too good, where I've never played uh, at that time. And then I've also been in levels that were too low, so it was difficult to improve my game and also show my abilities. I got a little bit stuck in these levels. So it's a difficult one of really uh, 
finding the right level and having faith that it will kind of come up because it it doesn't always come up so that's why you kind of have to trust uh trust in the people that are working for you and um be patient and kind of have a bit of luck because yeah like i said it's not always coming up so now i've got what day is it the 22nd so I've only essentially got like nine days of the transfer window where everyone's looking for clubs that is gonna be busy and like I said that might not come up with something so I just need a little bit of luck right now and I believe in the people that are working for me that they're gonna fix something and if I have to go on trial I know I'm gonna do the business so that's no problem but i don't want to go and sacrifice going to trial in a lower level and then having to make a decision there than um going into the right level essentially of what i'm looking for that it's not too easy and it's not too hard so that you can play you're at a good level show your abilities and you're always improving you know So that's my feelings about that. And that's important because you have to really believe in yourself and trust the process a little bit. Trust in what you're doing and trust in your quality and trust in people that are finding you something. Oh my God, this road is crazy. Everyone's driving uh, <laughs> like 10 kilometers on this one road. But better safe than sorry. Yeah, but the roads are crazy here now. It's really crazy. But maybe, uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later and let you know how the rest of my day was and what I was doing. Alright guys, 